Hello readers, especially hello to those readers who've been tuning in from America, Vietnam, the Philippines, India, all these places. Thank you for listening and welcome. I hope you've been enjoying some of the Australian children's literature that I have been bringing you. I'm bringing you a poem today that has been made into a children's book by a famous Australian poet from the past called A.B. Patterson. The name of the poem is Clancy of the Overflow. Now, because this is a really distinctive Australian poem, there's some things you're going to need to know. If you're from another place, you might not know what a drover is, which is a person that takes the stock, sheep or cattle from one place to another, usually to get fresh things to eat. And you also need to know what a shearer is, which is somebody who takes the wool off a sheep so that it can be used. Now, this is an amazing poem, but there's some things that make it a bit tricky to understand, and I'm going to help you with them. One of them is the most amazing words that the poet uses. Look at all these words that you are going to explore and discover in this poem. And I'll help you with them. I've given you little explanations on the screen for some of the words so that you can really understand. And also the kind of the rhythm of this poet is a bit different. And so I've tried to read it to you in a really conversational tone so that you can kind of grasp the meaning for it. It's a funny, amazing, interesting poem. And the thing I like best about it is are you sometimes sitting at your desk at school or work or wherever you are thinking, hmm, I would really like to be at the beach or I'd really like to be skiing or I'd really like to be on a picnic or I'd really like to be somewhere that's not here. So this poem is written from the perspective of a lawyer. So the main character in the story or the main narrator, the person telling the story, is a young lawyer. We don't know his name. He's just writing about this fa fantasy character called Clancy of the Overflow that he's dreaming of. The thing also that is so interesting is it is possibly based on a character that he met. So we think, hmm, there was a Clancy of the Overflow perhaps. I had written him a letter which I had, for want of better knowledge, sent to where I met him, down the Lachlan, years ago. He was shearing when I knew him, and so I sent the letter to him, just on spec, addressed as follows, Clancy of the Overflow. And the answer came directed in a writing unexpected. And I think the same was written in a thumbnail dipped in tar. Twas his shearing mate that wrote it and verbatim I will quote it. Clancy's gone to Queensland roving and we don't know where he are. In my wild, erratic fancy, visions come to me of Clancy, gone a droving down the Cooper where the Western drovers go. As the stock are slowly stringing, Clancy rides behind them singing. What's a jolly swipe? And... For the drover's life has pleasures that the townsfolk never know. And the bush has friends to meet him, and their kindly voices greet him. In the murmur on the breezes, and the river on its bars. And he sees the vision splendid, on the sunlit plains extended. And at night, the wondrous glory of the everlasting stars. 
I am sitting in my dingy little office where a stingy ray of sunlight struggles feebly down between the houses tall. And the fetid air and gritty of the dusty, dirty city through the open window floating spreads its foulness over all. And in the place of lowing cattle, I can hear the fiendish rattle of the tramways and the buses making hurry down the street. And the language uninviting of the gutter children fighting comes fitfully and faintly through the ceaseless tramp of feet. And the hurrying people daunt me and their pallid faces haunt me as they shoulder one another in their rush and nervous haste with their eager eyes and greedy and their stunted forms and weedy for townsfolk have no time to grow. They have no time to waste. And I somehow rather fancy that I'd like to change with Clancy have a turn at droving where the seasons come and go while he faced the round eternal of the cash book and the journal. But I doubt he'd suit the office, Clancy of the Overflow.